Hello everybody, I'm so glad you are here. My channel is all about art journal, mixed media painting, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. In case you don't know me, I'm Bea Grob and I love to inspire you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you are here. Today it's a video hop again. It is for the group Art Joy of Sharing. We'll have the link to the group down below. Also the hop links will be down below, down below in the description. can talk today. Anyway, so when you have seen my video, go check out the other videos. Don't miss out that fun. So my project for today, you can see there's already quite a bit of stuff around here. I, I was thinking that I'm going to do some mail art postcards because I have to send some thank you to some people. So I always like to do the, the mail art postcard for people who appreciate a little bit of art. So you guessed it is for my art friends. Now I have a leftover piece of uh, heavy watercolor paper. Mixed media paper would work too. It's just what I have laying around and that's what I'm going to use. I have the idea I want a very colorful background doing again. You know me by now. I like colors. <laughs> so, but then I want to go in with the, this art form is butterfly. And I want to emboss those. So I'm going to use the embossing ink with the butterfly. But first I want to do some background. Just some, like I like the text background. So sometimes I add actually text pages. Sometimes I just stamp a little bit with all the, those stamps and I'm not going for perfect stamp. It's not about readability, it's about having a little bit of a visual texture going on. Again, some of those parts are going to be in time lapse because it, it is always the same, you know, so you get the idea pretty soon. And um, the piece is actually bigger than what I needed. I, I want to do like four postcards, but uh, the leftovers, there is always things you can do with leftovers. So I'm treating the background as a whole and then I'm going to cut them in, in, into individual postcards and from there on we go on. So that's my text background just to be on the safe side a little quick heat set you can see I have a lot of colors here and I have little cosmetic sponges I have a turquoise I have two different yellows one is a reflect or fluorescent or neon yellow then I have a kitsch flamingo that's a rather new one <laughs> from Tim Holtz and that's uh, again a reflex orange. Maybe I grab a little bit of other colors too, I'm not sure yet. I'm just starting with the turquoise and I'm using those um, cosmetic sponges because I just want to dab on some color but I do wet them first so that's what I'm gonna do. Now the key for not having muddy colors if you use complementary colors is um, try your paint in between. So it doesn't mix up but rather uh, adds another layer. Now I'm gonna go right into the orange because they are not complementary. They're um, what do you call that in English? Um, side by side, <laughs> so that it doesn't give you mud. And I have to 
feeling I want a little bit more. Yeah, here we go. That's what I'm missing. I want a little bit of a punch, which I think I do get with the magenta. No, it's a quinacra don rose. Okay, I went ahead and did cut my paper to the 4x6 postcards, that's what I usually do. And that's what's left over. I'm gonna keep it. You never know when you can use it. You know I have boxes and boxes. Anyway, first thing I want to do, I don't like the white edges you get, so I'm gonna go along with my, just with my ink pad, just to give a little bit of a border. Okay, I'm ready for the heat embossing. I do have the, this from Wow, Any Black, uh, regular embossing ink works, that's or powder I want to say. I do have my embossing ink here and I do have my butterfly. Now this butterfly would fit perfectly well on this card but I think that's kind of boring so I'm gonna move it a little bit and yes it's gonna cut off some of the pieces but I think it makes the piece more interesting, more pleasing. Just my thought. Okay, did I mention my heat resistant stone? I don't know. I usually work on this kind of stone. And I do have my catch paper here, so let's start the fun. Uh, this butterfly has sort of like um, little bit and pieces around him. I'm not care about too much, so if I don't hit all those surrounding little bits and pieces, it doesn't uh, bother me. I just want the butterfly mostly. Now for the next butterfly, I did zoom you in the most I can, just so you can see it a little bit close up. I'm gonna heat it from the side, but in reality you do it uh, from above, but I want you to see how it turns to from powder to the plasticky thingy. <laughs> so let's go. Now I did print out on my computer on a little bit of a heavier paper those this saying here, thank you for being Nazi friend, because I'm gonna send those cards to some friends. So, but you could instead do like happy birthday or a little hello, or there are so many options. And I try to figure out where I'm gonna place them. Should have used a little bit. Uh, 
smaller font, I guess. <laughs> What I also want to do, I want to add a little bit of this uh, reflex rose, neon rose, fluorescent rose and I just use my fingers and um, those uh, fluorescent colors are always very translucent so you're still going to see what's underneath. I just have the feeling I want a little bit of a pop and I try not to hit the butterfly too much. Not everywhere, just in some areas. The other thing I want to do is I have this wax and I'd like sometimes to add a little bit of what well, that's a little bit more than what I wanted. Just adding a little bit of, uh, yeah, that's better. A little bit of wax to the embossed area. Can you see? Okay. To glue on I use just a good glue, white glue, whatever you have on hand. Now I think I'm gonna add some lines here and I just use the Derwent, the charcoal grey. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, as usual there will be a picture at the end with not so a colorful background so you can see it in the whole beauty so to speak. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.